Hello friends, now we are starting the second part of this chapter that is a formula to find out length of an arc. This theorem is nothing but a formula to find out length of arc of a circle. So observe the statement of the theorem. If S is the length of arc of a circle of radius R which subtend an angle of theta radian at the center of the circle then we have to prove that value of S is equals to R theta. Here R is nothing but radius of the circle. S is nothing but length of arc of this circle which subtend angle of what? Theta radian at the center. Then we have to prove that this length of arc can be find out applying which formula? S is equals to R theta. Where S is nothing but length of arc. Means applying this formula we are able to find out length of arc. To apply this formula we will require two values R and what? Theta. So first let us try to prove this important formula. Now first let us consider the given condition. What is the given condition? R is radius of the circle. So here R, R is nothing but radius of the circle. Now we are taking two point on the circle A and B such that this arc length AB is equals to S yes, and this arc length subtend how much angle? Theta radian at the center of circle it is given to us. If we are denoting length of arc, arc AB by what S? Then according to given condition this arc subtend how much angle theta radian at the center of a circle. Again we are taking one another point on the circle let us denote that point by C such that this angle AOC is equal to 180 degree. So first write down our supposition here. So we are supposing that O be the center of a circle. Let O be the center of circle of circle of radius of radius r so take three points take three points so these points we have denoted by what a b and c such that such that arc length length of arc a b is equals to length of arc AB is equal to we have taken these two point A and B such that length of arc AB is equal to yes and angle AOC is equals to 180 degree angle AOC is equal to what 180 degree if this arc length is equal to yes then according to given condition this arc subtend how much angle theta radian at the center so this implies that angle AOB AOB is the angle subtended by which arc whose length is s and this angle according to given condition will be equal to theta radian and if angle AOC is equal to 180 degree then we are trying to find out length of arc AC. So let us try to find out length of arc AC here. Here we can observe that this arc AC is nothing but half of this circumference isn't it because this angle is 180 degree means this arc AC is nothing but half part of this circumference. Total circumference is what 2 pi r and AC is nothing but half of circumference means half of 2 pi r. So here 2 and 2 will get cancelled means we will get what pi r. So length of arc AC is also known to us which is equal to pi r. Now we are revising one important condition so which we have studied in your earlier classes but we will require here to prove this theorem. So let us suppose that here O be the center of a circle and we have taken two point on this circle such that this angle AOB is equals to 180 degree. So here angle AOB is equal to 180 degree and let us suppose that this whole angle means one revolution will be equal to what 360 degree. We are taking ratio of two angle one is 180 degree and another one is what? Uh, 360 degrees so which is equals to what ratio we are getting here 1 by 2 now we are trying to find out ratio of ratio of their corresponding arcs so if you uh, observe here arc corresponding arc of 180 degree is arc AB isn't it and arc AB is half part of this circumference half part of this circumference means it is equal to half of 2 pi r and second angle is what 360 degree if this angle is 360 degree angle is what 360 degree then length of this arc will be equal to circumference circumference means what 2 pi r here 2 pi r 2 pi r will get cancelled and what result we are getting here 
1 by 2. So we can observe that since, since these right hand sides are equal means these left hand sides are also equal but left hand side means what first value is nothing but ratio of the angles at the center of a circle and second ratio is the ratio of what length of their corresponding arc and see if ratios are equal we can say that values are in proportion now which values are in proportion angle and their corresponding arcs are in what proportion considering that we know this result just we are trying to prove our theorem here so here write down we know that we know that angle at angle at center of a circle center of circle is is proportional is proportional to to corresponding corresponding arc lens arc lens so using this result see what we are getting here this result says that length of arc and angle at the center are in proportion so here we are taking length of arc so first consider length of arc ab okay upon length of arc AC means we have taken ratio of what length of arc and we know that this ratio of length of arc are equal to are equal to what angle at the center of a circle so which is the angle corresponding to arc arc AB so angle corresponding to arc AB is angle AOB so angle AOB and angle corresponding to arc AC is angle AOC all these values are already obtained just substitute these values so here length of arc ab is equals to what s length of arc ac is equal to pi r on this side angle aob is equal to theta and theta is measured in what radian here angle aoc what is the value of angle aoc is equal to 180 degree 180 degree in radian can be written as what pi radian so we are uh, substituting the values of angle in terms of what radian so now whenever we are substituting the values not necessary to write the unit of measurement if we are writing the unit of measurement here this theta is also in radian and this theta is uh, this angle is also in radian so radian radian will get cancelled lastly the unit of measurement will get cancelled so not necessary to write down here unit of measurement so s is equals to this pi r will get multiplied on this side so on this side will get pi r theta in the numerator and in the denominator pi pi and pi will get cancelled so what result we will get s is equals to r theta so s is equals to r theta is our required result applying this formula we are able to find out length of arc and when this formula is applicable if radius and angle subtended by this arc at the center which we have denoted by what theta means if r and theta is given to us applying this formula we are able to find out length of arc now let us try to prove the second very important formula to find out area of sector already you have studied a formula to find out area of sector in your earlier classes i think in the 10th standard that area of sector is equal to theta upon 360 into pi r square but that formula is applicable its angle is measured in what degrees now we are going to prove an new formula which is applicable if angle of sector is measured in what radian so observe the statement of the theorem if theta radian means angle is measured in what radian is the angle between two radii of the circle of radius r then area of the corresponding sector is half r square theta so here this is one sector and angle between two radii of the of this circle is we have denoted it by what theta and this theta is measured in what radian so here we have got one sector a o b whose angle is what theta radian and radius will be equals to r now we have to prove that the area of this sector is given by which formula half r square theta so here what we are supposing let O be the center of the circle, O be the center of circle of radius of radius R. Later on we are taking two point. Take two points 
टू पॉइंट्स ऑन सर्कल टू पॉइंट्स बेटर वे डिनोट दीज टू पॉइंट्स बाय ए एंड बी टेक टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी ऑन द सर्कल ऑन द सर्कल सच दैट सच दैट एंगल ए ओ बी इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच विल बी इक्वल टू थीटा रेडियन विच ऑलरेडी वी आर वी आर शोन इन द फिगर now to prove this uh, important theorem or to prove this one important formula we will revise one important result which you have studied in earlier classes but required to prove this theorem so let us consider here one circle okay so here let this angle will be equals to 180 degree means one angle of this circle at a center we are considering it is equal to 180 degree and let us consider one another angle at a center of a circle will be equal to what 360 degree now take the ratio of these two angle just easily we will come to know that this ratio is equals to 1 by 2 means what is the value of ratio of the angle at the center of circle will be equal to 1 by 2 now we are finding ratio of their corresponding sectors okay so observe 180 degree its corresponding sector is this much part isn't it so easily we can observe that it is the semi circle what is the area of this circle area of this circle will be equal to pi r square so this much part means what half of pi r square means half of pi r square now second angle is 360 degree let us try to find out uh, area of its corresponding sector 360 degree means can i say that this total circle yes this 360 degree means we can say that complete circle and what is the formula to find out area of circle pi r square pi r square pi r square will get cancel what ratio we have got here 1 by 2 means ratio at the center of a circle and ratio of their corresponding sectors are equal Well, that's why we can say that area of sector and the angle at the center of a circle are in what proportional and using this condition we are going to prove this theorem we know that an area of area of sector area of sector r proportional r proportional to the angle to the angle to the angle at to the angle subtended subtended at center of of circle now let us make the use of this result first we are considering area of sector area of sector a o b is equal to its corresponding angle we have denoted by what theta whenever we are substituting the value not necessary to write the unit of measurement in the denominator we are considering area of circle and what is the angle corresponding to area of circle means for the circle this angle will be equal to 360 now 360 we are just trying to convert in it terms of what radian so we know that pi radian means 180 and 180 into 2 means what 360 just we are substituting this value which is measured in what radian now here area of sector aob keep it as it is area of sector A O B upon area of circle. We have a formula to find out area of circle. What is that formula? Pi r square on that side theta upon two pi. Keep it as it is. So area of sector A O B will be equals to pi r square on this side will get multiplied. So pi. R square into theta will be pi r square theta. In the denominator, two pi keep it as it is. Easily we can observe that pi and pi will get cancelled here. Remaining term is half. Again, r square and what theta? And check that is it the result which we have to prove. In this way, we have got two formulas. One formula is to find out length of arc, and second formula is to find out what area of sector. Both the formulas are applicable only if angle is measured in what radian. So applying these formulas, we are solving the example from the next exercise in the next lecture.